Here's your Forbes Daily Briefing for Saturday, March 30th. Today on Forbes, the startup behind the first pig-human kidney transplant is targeting hearts and livers next. Just over a week ago, surgeons at Massachusetts General Hospital announced that for the first time, a living human patient had received a kidney transplant from a pig. This scientific breakthrough represents hope for dozens of people who die every day waiting on an organ transplant, according to the hospital's transplant director, who spoke at a press conference following the announcement. Of course, it wasn't as simple as just going down to the farm. The kidney was developed by Massachusetts-based startup eGenesis, which has been working on gene-editing porcine organs so that they can be safely transplanted into humans for nearly a decade. But CEO Mike Curtis told Forbes that last week's milestone is only the beginning. His company, which has raised $291 million in venture backing to date, aims to bring its gene editing technology for kidney, liver, and heart transplants into clinical trials in the next two years, making it a disruptive player in a market that Grandview Research estimates to be around $15 billion. Curtis said, quote, We've shown that we actually have something that can help patients. To me, it's all about getting into this new era of science and the ability to help people that have very few treatment options. There are over 100,000 people in the United States currently on transplant waiting lists, but less than half of those will get a transplant in a given year due to the limited availability of donor organs. For decades, scientists have thought that animal organs might help some patients, even if they're just a way to keep people alive long enough to receive a human organ. Pigs are an ideal candidate to provide donor organs because they grow up quickly and their organs have similar size and functionality compared to humans. In this case, the patient was a 62-year-old man whose previously transplanted kidneys had failed and the procedure was allowed to move forward under the Food and Drug Administration's Expanded Access Program, which allows patients with life-threatening conditions to take advantage of experimental medicines or procedures. This operation followed several different experiments using pig kidneys with brain-dead donors, as well as two operations where living patients received transplanted, gene-edited pig hearts. Jamil Ozzie, a transplant surgeon at Brigham and Women's Hospital, who was not involved in last week's surgery, praised the operation. He told Forbes, quote, It's a great breakthrough that was decades in the making. That said, he cautioned that a lot more data will be needed before this type of surgery becomes routine for human patients. A crucial question is how long a donated pig kidney will last in a human patient. He said, quote, If it fails in two to three months, then we're far behind. In 2023, two patients who received pig heart transplants developed by United Therapeutics subsidiary Revivacor died a few weeks after their operations, though it's not yet completely clear why. One of the biggest challenges with an animal-human transplant is ensuring that the body of the person receiving the transplant doesn't reject the animal organ outright. This is already a problem with human-donated kidneys, and skeptics have said that the number of differences between pigs and humans would make a transplant like this impossible. That's where gene editing comes in. For last week's operation, Curtis explained, it was necessary to genetically modify the donor pig's kidney with seven different human genes, remove three pig genes and 59 additional pieces of DNA. These edits ensure that the kidney won't be attacked by the patient's own immune system to the point of rejection, though immunosuppressive drugs are required just as they are with human organs. For full coverage, check out Alex Knapp's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.